Peace of my mind, Lord. I'm in guys. So tonight we're on the pork scratching's best bitter. I'm fucking off my head. This is part again, part of the faith in boozes. <sighs> What's in this one? It doesn't really say by yeast flavourings. This is a 5% best bitter from Northern Monk. It's supposed to taste like pork scratchings. Again, it's part of the faith in boozes thing, so all the money goes back to the sorry, that was close. What's up now? Back to local pubs or whatever else, and sort of, you know, it's all to support sort of pubs. It's all, you know. It's all supporting pubs, basically. It's sort of none of it's getting kept by Northern Monk. Beer in the glass, shall we? <coughs> oh, I've just had the scampy one, unusual. Right, so here we go. Beer in the glass looks like a bitter, quite lively, quite a big head in it. I can smell it from here. It smells beefy. Mm. Just smell that beef with undertones of sort of beef. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, struggling to get anything out of it really. Um, unusual. Just smells sort of beefy, yeasty. There's not a lot else to it. Cheers, I suppose. That's actually quite nice. It tastes like pork scratchings. <laughs> it tastes like a packet of pork scratchings from that local booze in a glass. Liquefied pork scratchings. <sighs> It reminds me of like a. I would have taken like a Schlenkerle beer, but rather than the sort of smokiness you get in that meatiness going through. What a strange beer. That's not bad at all, actually. So you, you really get in that sort of. Pork scratching. It's more like a sort of. It's probably more like a beefy flavour, I'd say, than pork spice. It's. Um, that's not bad at all, actually. That's quite nice. It's better than the other one. That is not bad at all, honestly. Again, the faith in booze is so all the profits go to the pubs. Northern Monk just. I don't take anything from it. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Pork scratchings and scampi. Not a great combination, I have to admit. <sighs> but yeah, faith in booze is 5% anyway. A limited issue beer, so once you get the same as the other one, once you've had it, get down your local for a pop of pint and a bag of scratchings. Do you know what? It's not bad at all that. I know somebody, Alan. But spice and easy, who would love that? That'd be right up his street. That <laughs> it's not bad at all. It's not bad actually. Again, I don't want to be critical of these beers too much because they're all for a great cause. But so far, that's the best of the bunch. I've still got the peanut stout to do, so I'm curious to see what it can taste like. I think that'll be quite nice. That's not bad neither. It's a sipper, but it's not bad at all. Honestly, pork scratchings, best bitter. Northern Monk, 5%, thumbs up. Honestly, if you like bitters, you don't mind a bit of, you know, your pork scratchings, give it a try if you can get all we can. Honestly, I recommend it. I fucking lost my marbles. I actually recommend that one. So, um, thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to wrap it up now. Let me know if you're going to buy these beers. If you have bought them, if you tasted them, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What's your thoughts on the whole situation? And I'll catch you next time. Peace! Ah! <sighs>